Today we are going to demonstrate how to use the Simple Tasks feature in the Remote Support Platform Studio 3.0. We will create a task, run it in a customer environment and then upload its results to the partner's web dev environment. You want to be able to use the Remote Support Platform 3.0 for SAP Business One more efficiently by utilising the Simple Tasks functionality in the RSP Studio. We are now logged in to the customer environment and we want to log in to the customer's remote support platform console. We can do this by now entering our username and then password and then selecting log on. So now we are logged in to the remote support platform for SAP Business One. We will now want to navigate to configuration and then select channels. Once the configuration window opens, we're going to select Partner Channel. Under Approvals, we need to ensure that we have enabled the setting to execute immediately and also to set a refresh interval to every two minutes. So now that we have checked our Partner Channel configuration settings, we want to navigate to Tasks and then Active Tasks. By typing in system, we can then search for the system status report task. And now we're going to run this task. The task execution wizard now opens and we can select the appropriate customer system to begin executing this task. Once the task has been executed, we can then navigate to the task results, select Awaiting Upload, and then select Upload All. And this will upload the task results to our SAP channel and our partner channel that we defined. We're now logged in to our partner environment and we want to launch the Remote Support Platform Studio for SAP Business One. Under Customer Management, we are now going to select the customer that we want to assign a simple task to. We're going to select Customer One. We're now going to select Simple Tasks from the top menu and we're going to create a simple task for this customer by selecting the Create button. This will launch the Simple Tasks window. To create a simple task, we need to define a task name. And for this task, we're going to define a name such as count user underscore simple task. We also need to select a category for this task and the category of this task will be to run a simple SQL statement. And now we need to define our SQL script for this task, such as select count user ID from the OUSR table. So now we need to then select the customers that we want to run this task against. And once we've done that, we can now save the simple task that we created. Now the simple task has been saved successfully, we want to open up the RSP reporting system by navigating to configuration and then reporting. Choosing to launch the RSP reporting will ensure that the RSP reporting system is running successfully. And now we can navigate to the reporting browser and then click on the link. We are now viewing the RSP reporting system. And as you can see, the simple task that we created for customer one appears in the list. And let's open up this report. And this actually displays the count results of the number of users in the customer one system, which is 35. If we now navigate to the results list and then we select 
Customer 1. We are now presented with a list of task results for this customer. If we now navigate to page 2 of the results list, we can then see the results of the simple task that we created for this customer. And we can drill down again to the report itself. Back in the Remote Support Platform Studio, we can also view the results of our simple task by simply refreshing the page. Well, that concludes our demonstration of the simple tasks feature in the Remote Support Platform Studio 3.0 for one of our customer systems. Remote Support Platform 3.0 for SAP Business One allows you to easily create and assign simple tasks to your customers and then upload the results to the partner's web dev environment to review the results of the task in the RSP reporting system or the Remote Support Platform Studio.